So a few of you have asked to see my studio. And uh, here's the door to my studio next to my kitchen. It's my kitchen. I won't show you anymore because it's a bit of a mess. But here's the door to my studio. Ta da! Let's turn on the light. Here it is. My studio. As you can see, it's also the guest bedroom. And there's my desk in the corner. And my other desk in the other wall. Just here I have some shelves with some artwork from some of my favorite artists. This is Leilani Joy. This one is uh, Stuart Littlejohn. That one is Julia Jeffrey. Uh, this one is uh, Sam Flegel. And more Julia Jeffrey. And there's my, my artworks there. Some early stuff and my latest two pieces done in watercolor. The rest of my kitchen. So, close the door. On the back of my door I've got my daughter's wonderful artwork. And then I've got some storage behind the door. It's rather a large IKEA unit. Lots and lots and lots of boxes. And it doesn't matter how much storage I have, I always have junk left over in boxes. This is all my jewellery making stuff for uh, when I make earrings and necklaces and all kinds of other twinkly goodness, but because I'm not making jewellery at the moment, it's kind of just put away so that I can concentrate on my art stuff. Here I've got all kinds of jars for all kinds of things, mixing paints, uh, some old turf containers. Here's some letters that I'll be decorating to go on the Christmas tree later. And yeah, lots and lots of junk everywhere. Lots of books. Books for reading and for reference. So I've got like color manuals and uh, I've got other artists' books. Uh, some of my other art books are in the living room. These aren't all my all my art books. My floor is rather squeaky too. Um, yeah, tissue for wrapping things in spare plastic bags, that kind of thing. Uh, there's my large artwork uh, easel. So if I'm doing any large pieces of art, artwork or canvas, I just put them up on there and pull it out into the middle of the room. Uh, here we have one of my pieces that I printed out in photo paper and just put in a frame. Because I thought, what's the point in being an artist if you don't have your own art out? Here's uh, my collection of uh, toilet rolls. I'm actually going to be making a Copic marker holder with this when it's all full. I'll glue them all together and then I'll put my Copic pens in here. I'll flip it up on its side. Again, these little boxes filled with little bits of junk. Here we've got all my mediums and things on shelves. Tape and paper plates and palettes, my staple stapler and a sponge for my water, uh, watercolor stuff, an extra battery for my camera, watercolor mediums, inks, gouache. Uh, here we've got uh, a tabletop easel, so this flips up to make a tabletop um, easel where I can put my medium sized works. This is my latest piece of artwork on a board, ready to carry on painting. My cutting mat. My little goddess and god. And my Buddha. And some more candles, because candles are nice. Some watercolour palettes. I've always got two jars of water out, uh, just in case the desire to paint hits. And I need some water. <laughs> it's always there. There's no... Uh, no, oh my gosh, I've got to go out to the kitchen and get some water. Not that it's a million miles away, but just in case I fancy painting late at night. There it is. This is my really old laptop. I think that's like eight or nine years old now. It's on its last legs. <laughs> just hoping it doesn't die on me. Uh, my always present cup of coffee. 
And then I've got this chair from Ikea. Um, I actually got this one in white and then I dyed the cover. Turquoise myself. Because mm -hmm. what's an art room without a bit of colour? Here's my Alex unit from, uh, from Ikea. Various watercolour papers and sketch papers. Sketch for the watercolour piece that I'm doing. This is my colour book. This is where I keep track of all the colours that I have in all my mediums. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so I write their names down so I know what they are and what they look like when they're when they're out and dry. Here's my brush palette. Pull it out. I can move it around for different pieces of work that I do. Small brushes, large brushes, oil brushes. These are my oil brushes that I only use with my oil paint and then the rest are pretty much... These are the ones that I use with my watercolours, pretty much. Just those ones in that little jar there. Rags. Always use rags and rulers. What have I got down here? There you are, just junk. More rags. Some sponge. <laughs> dust and cloth to wipe dust off everything. And more rags. In here I've got, uh, in this Alex unit I've got my pencils and my pastels and some sandpaper. More pastels, more pastels, my zig, zig pens and some pencils in the back there with some chalk. Uh, then I've got my Copics, greys and blues. Oh dear. Then in here I've got some palettes, some carbon paper, tracing paper, more carbon paper, uh, more watercolour paper, canvas, canvases of all shapes and sizes. And in here I've got uh, finished pieces, chunky pieces, pieces that I started and haven't finished. And that's what I've got in there. <laughs> I also have another Alex unit that I haven't built yet. I have no idea where to put it. I'm thinking maybe under there with my rubbish and my yoga mat that I never use. <laughs> yeah, I've got my oil palette there as well. And this palette I only use with my oil colours. Um, yeah, that's it. That is my studio. Let me show you the view from the window. I have the blinds down at the moment, but... How nice is that? I've got a lovely view of the park and the traffic on the street. Park, traffic on the street. Yeah. And that's it. That's my studio tour. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Bye.